he wouldn't have, they wouldn't have had, they wouldn't have had Anthony Bennett. Remember, they only drafted Anthony Bennett because he turned to a bad team. You feel what I'm saying, bro? You understand what I'm saying to you, bro? I don't know exactly the year because he left. But the whole point is, I think that he's a top three player of all time. So he would have won. He would have found a way to win a championship. You say he would have Kyrie. No, he wouldn't. Kyrie wouldn't have got drafted to Cleveland. You say, but nobody, oh, bro. Hey, bro, why do you, why, all right, cool. You say, okay, fair, but nobody wanted to go to Cleveland. Why does somebody have to go there for you to win? Why does somebody have to go there? What are you talking about? Like, what is, like, what is this? What is this? Are y'all serious right now? Y'all really stuck on it. Y'all really think that the only way that you can win a championship is if somebody is if another superstar comes to your team. Y'all, y'all some LeBron haters, bro. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't, he couldn't sit on his own too. All right, hey Chris, since you saying yes, you in the comments like yes, right? Tell me what superstar won the Steph Curry team the first time that he won a championship. I want y'all to answer me that question real quick, and then we can move on. What superstar won the Steph Curry team? No, bro. I said, what superstar went to his team? And that's my point, Chris. If he was, if, if Clay was already there, that means another superstar didn't come to his team. But the reason why I think he would have won two to three championships, bro, you got to remember, the Celtics, the Boston Celtics, um, they they wasn't the best team in the East for that long. They they was old already. So eventually they would have gotten old and fell off. And then the rest of the Eastern Conference was weak. The rest of the Eastern Conference was weak. You said, who is he beating by himself? But he had multiple all-stars on his team, though. What you talking about? He had multiple all-stars on his team. You said the Bulls and Knicks wasn't weak. Melo came there eventually after after Brown and made the super team. You said the Bulls wasn't... But Derrick Rose was the only superstar on that team. He had no other all-stars on his team, like LeBron had... In Cleveland? So that's my point, though. Hey, hold on. So that's my point. Why do y'all think he wouldn't have won if y'all think he the best player ever? I think y'all, I think y'all, I think y'all disrespecting LeBron right now. So, so because there are other, oh, so the only way that y'all think he would have won is if he put the top three scores in the East on one team. So the, so the rest of the East can be weak. But if he's the best player, why don't y'all think he would have won? When it was when it was all if it was all on the same if it was all on the same tier, because like I said, D Rose only had one superstar on his team. D Wade was the only superstar on his team. You know, you said two to three is a stretch, but y'all brag about him going to A Street. So if he went to eight straight finals off the strength for him, why ain't he why ain't he just stay in Cleveland and do that the first time? Why oh, he had to leave? No, no, no. I'm talking about it he said Dwayne had Shaq. I'm talking about at the time when LeBron left Cleveland. These guys were the only superstars on their team. D Wade didn't have no other superstars. Derrick Rose. The Knicks put together a good team, but that was already after that was after the Heat made that super team though.
You said the eight straight finals is just East Conference being weak. No, 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 no. You're not hearing me. I'm talking about the ones that I'm talking about the LeBron fans that think that he still wouldn't have won no rings if he stayed in Cleveland. I'm I'm saying that they flip flopping because they the ones that brag about him going to eight straight. But they think that saying two to three is too much. But they brag about him being, you know what I'm saying? They say that he can take anybody to the finals. That's what they say. Like, what if he, what if he goes to the, what if he goes to the championship in 2011, right? And he has to play against Dirt and Whiskey. Y'all think he would have beat Dirt and Whiskey if he'd have just been by himself? Because y'all say D Wade was in a way. So y'all think he would have beat Dirk by himself, just like how Dirk was with himself? I mean, by himself? I think Brown was better than Michael, though. He should win at least two. So why did he leave? Why did he leave, bro? He didn't join the superstar when he left Miami. That's not my point, Chris. I'm talking about when he left Cleveland the first time. You skipping over that. You said he left because the organization wasn't respecting him, but they gave them, but they gave him multiple All Stars though. The organization wasn't respecting him, but they gave him multiple All Stars on his team, and he was, and he had the best record in the whole NBA and the coach of the year, and he, and he was in a position to win MVP twice, and he the one that just up and left. Let y'all blame Kyrie for leaving though, for leaving Boston though. He had all that going for him in Boston. You said who was a multiple all stars? So all right, cool. So Big Z and Mo Williams, both were all stars on his team. Those were the guys. Big Z was there before um LeBron came into the NBA. Mo Williams made the all star team after. You know what I'm saying? When the organization gave gave him Mo Williams, Mo Williams was averaging 17 before he went to Cleveland, and then he was averaging 17. He was giving the Cavs that when he came to the Cavs, and he made the all star team. That's a fact. But guess what, though? This is where it get crazy. Then they gave him Antoine Jameson, who's a top 50 scorer of all time. Right? You said, why did they make the All-Star game? Yeah, usually when... I mean, usually that's how it goes, right? The top teams in each conference will have two All-Stars. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, but that's always how we go. That's like, you know what I mean? Chris Middleton was only an all-star because of Giannis. So I'm, so I'm not reaching. Drew Holiday is a one-time all-star. Just like on Giannis' team. But y'all make it seem, but if he's the best player ever, that's enough to win. Because Giannis won with that. A lot of people won with that. What's like? What's up with these new, with this new criteria? That's how it always been. Secondary star. You know what I mean? I'm the superstar. I'm the Batman. You the Robin. Y'all want him to team up with two, with a with another Batman all the time. Which is fine, but then y'all turn around and say he's the best ever. All right? But see, see, so y'all can't have it both ways. If he's the best ever, y'all don't think he could have won when he had multiple All-Stars in the team. And guess what? Y'all said, y'all said Mo Williams only made the All-Star team because of Brian Will. Big Z and Antoine Jameson was all stars before they played with LeBron. All right, I'm not saying he didn't hold it down. I'm saying why you leave? You feel me? Why you leave? You said Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday better than anybody LeBron played with Cleveland in the East. All right, Lil Mark, you just capped your whole life away as far as his basketball talk. Because neither one of them is better than Antoine Jameson. And that's 100% facts. You know that, right? You do know that, right? You, you do know that Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton, neither one of them are better than Antoine Jameson. Like, I hope y'all know that. You said Drew Holiday is better than Antoine Jameson. What? Okay, bro. See, but that's the thing. I'll f- be forgetting a lot of y'all didn't watch basketball back then. So, Antoine Jameson is a top 50 scorer of all time. He was a multiple all-star. 
He Antoine Jameson averaged 32 and nine. Hold on. Do y'all know that Antoine Jameson averages averaged 32 and 9 against LeBron? You said Jameson not better than what? What is y'all talking about? Bro, you said LeBron. Hey, Chris, bring your ass up here, boy. Fuck, man. All niggas don't know shit. <laughs> Bro, LeBron made Antoine Yo, y'all don't Jameson. know shit. This shit, well, this shit mad frustrating. <laughs> Hold on. You said LeBron made Antoine Jameson. Antoine Bro. Jameson was a multiple time all star before LeBron James. What are you talking about? Bro, LeBron took him to the next level. That's what I'm talking about. No, he didn't. He was. No, that's not even true. His no, no, no. That's not true. His prime, <laughs> his prime was before Cleveland. What are you talking about, bro? Right. Did he win a playoff game before Cleveland? Yes. See, this is the thing. No, 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 no. This is the thing that yes, you don't hold on. He did, though. He did. Yes, 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 he did. Yeah, hold on. Tom, yes, he did, bitch. All right. Here's one of your question. So LeBron James did not. LeBron James got Antoine Jameson, right? He elevate these players so they can win, bro. You mentioned the Antoine Jameson, Booby Gibson, Big Z. No, no, no. Antoine James. Look, listen, bro. Middleton. Antoine Jameson and Big Z was all star before <laughs> they played with LeBron James. James, bro. This is a this is a fact. Right. But did they hold on, Tom. Antoine Jameson averaged 32 and 9 against LeBron James in the playoffs. Did he beat LeBron? That's not my point. When did Chris Middleton average 32 for a series? You saying, hold on. Right, you saying, no, come on. You saying Middleton is better than Antoine Jameson, right? Let me ask you this question. Bro. No, that wasn't me, but I'll take Chris Middleton. Hell yeah. How many times how many times did Antoine Jameson made the all-star team? Antoine Jameson, I don't know. So if you don't know, why are you capping for somebody else? But I know Chris, Chris no, no, Middleton, he a champion, how do, though. How, how do you That's know? That's what I do know. You said what, bro? I know Chris Middleton, he a champion. That's what I do know. Yeah, because he played with Giannis. Nah, bro. He played a big role. And then he was damn near. You do realize Drew Middleton, Drew Holiday has more all-star than Jameson. No, Drew Chris, Holiday. You, you said what? Who you want Who you want to go against on the, um, on the, uh, on the joint, bro, on the one-on-ones? Uh man, put me in the fight with anybody. I wanted Osi, but I see he going up with DJ. And I ain't mean to cuss at you like that, bro. You know how to be playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now look though, yo. You put me up. You, can get, you put me up against anybody though. But then what I wanted to ask you though. Then what I had wanted to ask you about this topic. I'm in the gym. I can't talk too loud. So you act like LeBron didn't hold it down, bro. Like he no, hold on, on, time hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. He can't <laughs> if he play his whole like you acting like he requested the trade. Let me ask you something. Did Kobe request the trade? Yo, Chris, my nigga, bro. Did Kobe, said, well, request, did Kobe request the trade, bro? That's yeah. all I want to know. Okay, so he, <laughs> oh, he held it down. He can leave, bro. Like, what the hell? <laughs> he can leave, dog. We are funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he held wow, it down, bro. bro. He this man had Antoine Jameson, Mo Williams, Big Z, Shaq, Ben Wallace, Booby Gibson. Booby Gibson. Gibson. I'll play LeBron in some of them games, though. <laughs> he did. Yes, he did. Uh -oh. did. Hey, Chris, you lucky you in the did, gym, bro. bro. You lucky that I got to get in the shower. Look, you lucky I got to get in the shower, bro. Because I will, right, I will, hey. I will flame, I will flame this whole argument. We'll be giving in... LeBron James in the playoffs sometimes. That's true. Put me in a fight with anybody. I'm trying to argue Kobe and LeBron James. I'm gonna put you with OC. I'm... Hey, bro, I'm gonna put you with OC. Eddie, he beat Eddie. He beat DJ. Let's see. And I ain't even biased, bro. I'm just saying I think that's who won't win. I'm not trying to root for nobody. No, that's not my point, bro. Bro, Antoine Jameson, bro. No, a midlife mission. I'm saying Booby Gibson outplayed LeBron James. Some 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 of them games in the playoffs. That's true. So y'all saying he trash. How you do that? How how do you manage to do that? You said Booby had two had two big games. No, he didn't have two big games. He didn't have two big games. He outplayed LeBron James a few times in the finals, and in and, and against Detroit. I, see, y'all don't even know basketball history, bro. I've been watching LeBron longer than y'all, young asses. I've been watching LeBron longer than y'all. I mean, longer than y'all. I've been watching LeBron when y'all was y'all was racing to the egg. Disrespecting Anton James and his schedule thing. Exactly, bro. That's what I'm saying. A M truth. You said stop talking. Take truth out of your name because you act like a bitch when you hear when you hear facts. You bitch ass motherfucker. Yeah, bro.
I'm talking. Hey, look, I'm only turning up like this because I'm ready to do King of the Court on Player's Choice in an hour. So, them niggas better not lie on there, or else they gonna get get one of these cuss words. They m under the score truth. Take truth out of your name, because you act like a bitch when you hear the truth. That's what I'm saying. You said Greg Pop said himself they guarded LeBron with everybody. He better had did something. That's what he did to Kobe Bryant too. And what Kobe do? That's the sound of the net. What Kobe do? You go look up what Kobe did to the Spurs the year after LeBron lost to them. But all right, y'all, I'm about to get in the shower.